Sound of Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In recent months, there have been reports that prominent Muslim women in India have appeared on unsanctioned apps, listing them up for auction, and leading public figures have openly called for Muslims to be killed. In Karnataka, a court passed a ruling to ban schoolgirls exercising their religious beliefs, beliefs to wear hijab in class. So I simply ask the Minister, did the Prime Minister raise concerns about human rights violations by the Indian Government, including the anti-Muslim violence that many feel is being whipped up by Narendra Modi and the ruling BJP? Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, we do, um, it's a shocking story that she tells, but we do engage with India on a range of human rights matters. We work with both union and state governments and with non-governmental organisations. This is to help build capacity and share ex- expertise to promote human rights for all. As she knows, supporting women and girls is a top priority of this government and of the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office. Um, Where we have concerns, we raise them directly with the Government of India, including at ministerial level.